Well, this is our 1974 Triumph TR6. The description of it is on the website and as you'll discover it's a North American import with overdrive and with a substantially uprated engine. It's been with one of our regular customers for some time and he's done about 4,000 miles of touring with it. And it's a, quite an interesting car, very much what we would describe as a user. Um, originally the American, the North American cars, which this is, they were lower powered than the UK ones. They hated the Lucas petrol injection system that uh, the Triumph uh, originally had. And so they were on carburettors. But this one is very much uprated with a high lift cam. It's got a superb carburettor setup and it's quite a quick machine. And unlike a sort of Lucas petrol injected one, um, it's a little bit more forgiving. They tend to be a bit all or nothing and uh, flood very easily. So this is a great running car. I'm going to take you out for a quick run in it. In terms of a description, I'm going to just take the camera around the car so you can see it. It has had some paint work. It's had a repaint in recent times. There was a lot of use in the UK and America in the 80s and early 90s of high build primer. And that's a bit prone to going into what we call micro blistering. And there's a few areas. You won't see it on a video because they're too small. But a few areas of micro blistering on it. And that will be taken care of as part of the preparation for whoever buys it. There's also a brand new walnut dash which I'll show you which is very beautiful which is to replace the the current one which is slightly sun faded. Anyway a quick look around the car. Well this gives you an idea of how straight the body panels are. Uh, obviously this is a car built onto a chassis, it's not a monocoque and we, we do get a lot of TRs that have quite poor door fit in particular and this one's good. So there you go, you can see the very flat line of the side of the car. See the very good door fit here on the, uh, on the near side. Um, as I said before, it's quite difficult to see imperfections uh, using this sort of uh, video system, but you might just be able to pick this tiny little pimples here of micro blistering and it's that's the sort of thing that we need to take care of. Not a big job, but as I said, it's, it's going to be done within the price. And here again a, a good shot of uh, how very good the panel fit is on this. And in the boot you'll see that we have um, both a jack and wheel brace, we have a full tonneau cover and those two little green boxes are a new temperature gauge and a new fuel gauge. Uh, you'll see when I show you inside the car, one, one of the issues with North American cars is that you do get quite a lot of sun, sun bleaching and uh, so the guy's bought a brand new dash and he's bought the two, uh, the two gauges which we're going to fit. And here's the nice replacement walnut dash all ready to fit. You can see there the carpet's uh, a replacement scent, the upholstery is all in good condition. Very pretty car. And that of course is the way most people are used to seeing a TR6 on the road. Hood down in the sunshine. As I mentioned earlier, originally the uh, North American cars had 112 horsepower carburettor engine it was fitted with twin Strombergs and never a particularly lively setup compared to the English injected ones so this is the alternative look at this triple Delortos with k &M filters on now that is a big improvement so now let's see what the old girls made of That's uh, fourth gear overdrive. Overdrive on the Triumph works on second, third and fourth, but in practice it's really only third and fourth where you need it.